Peace, Israel. <clears throat> uh, let's start off this lesson the way we normally do. Psalms 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. The title of today's lesson is, Failure to Follow Instruction Will Lead to Your Own Destruction. <clears throat> Let me say that again. Failure to follow instruction will lead to your own destruction. And today's lesson, we will start off, uh, let's flip to 1 Kings, 1 Kings chapter 13. 1 Kings chapter 13, we're actually going to read the whole chapter. Okay, shouldn't take but a few minutes. Uh, but 1 Kings chapter 13, and we'll read the man of God from Judah, or the man of Yah from Judah. <clears throat> 1 Kings chapter 13, verse 1, and it reads, And behold, there came a man of Yah out of Judah by the word of Yah unto Bethel, and Jeroboam stood by the altar to burn incense. Now, Jeroboam actually got the kingdom, okay, or got part of the kingdom uh, because the kingdom was torn, it was rent, it was split between Jeroboam, Solomon's servant, and Rehoboam, Solomon's son. Okay? Verse 2. And he cried against the altar in the word of Yah, and said, O altar, altar, thus saith Yah, Behold, a child shall be born unto the house of David, Josiah by name, and upon thee shall he offer the priest of the high places that burn incense upon thee, and men's bones shall be burnt upon thee. So, <clears throat> this man of Yah, this man of God, is saying to Jeroboam that these altars, or this altar is here in Bethel, that men's bones will be burnt upon it. All the priests of these idolatrous religions, if you will, will be burnt upon this altar. Okay, So this man is proclaiming that this thing is going to happen. This is what he's telling Jeroboam. He's saying, Jeroboam, that uh, this altar is going to be torn, the ashes is going to be poured out, and men's bones will be burnt upon it. Verse 3. And he gave a sign that same day, saying, This is the sign which Yah has spoken. Behold, the altar shall be torn, rent, and the ashes that are upon it shall be poured out. Verse 4. And it came to pass, when King Jeroboam heard the saying of the man of Yah, which had cried against the altar in Bethel, that he put forth his hand from the altar, saying, Lay hold on him. And his hand which he put forth against him dried up so that he could not pull it again to him pull it in again to him so Jeroboam being the governor of Israel uh, after the man of Yah had spoken these words he reached forth his hand for them to lay a hold of the man of God <clears throat> and when he reached forth his hand the most high dried his hand up to where he could not pull it back towards him again, okay? His hand pretty much became to where it did not work, <clears throat> okay? Verse 5. The altar also was rent, and the ashes poured out from the altar, according to the sign which the man of Yah had given by the word of Yah. <clears throat> and the king answered and said unto the man of Yah, Entreat now the face of Yah, thy strong one, and pray for me, that my hand may be restored me again. And the man of Yah besought Yah, and the king's hand was restored him again and became as it was before and became as it was before. So the king petitioned the man of Yah to ask Yah to restore his hand back to normal. And the man of Yah did this and the Most High did return Jeroboam's hand back to normal. Verse 7. <clears throat> and the king said unto the man of Yah, Come home with me and refresh thyself, and I will give thee a reward. <clears throat> Verse 8. And the man of Yah said unto the king, If thou will give me half thine house, I will not go in with thee, neither will I eat bread nor drink water in this place. Verse 9. For so was it charged me by the word of Yah, saying, Eat no bread, nor drink water, nor turn again by the way which thou camest. So this man, this man of Yah, or the man of God, <clears throat> he was given strict instruction by the Most High that the way that you go into this city, 
you shall not leave the same way that you went in. Moreover, while you are there, you are not to eat bread or drink water. So this man of God, this prophet, he was simply sent there to give that instruction to Jeroboam to go in one way and leave another way and not to go in and eat and drink water with anyone. This was a strict commandment given to him by the Most High. All right, now we will go to verse 10. So he went another way and returned not by the way that he came to Bethel. Now there dwelt an old prophet in Bethel, and his sons came and told him all the works that the man of Yah had done that day in Bethel. The words which he had spoken unto the king, them they told also to their father. Verse 12. And their father said unto them, What way went he? For his sons had seen the way the man of Yah went, which came from Judah. And he said unto his sons, Saddle me the ass. So they saddled him the ass, and he rode thereon. Verse 14. And went after the man of Yah, and found him sitting under an oak. And he said unto him, Art thou the man of Yah that camest from Judah? And he said, I am. Then he said unto him, Come home with me and eat bread. <clears throat> Verse 16. And he said, I may not return with thee, nor go in with thee. Neither will I eat bread nor drink water with thee in this place. Verse 17. For it was said to me by the word of Yah, Thou shalt eat no bread, nor drink water there, nor turn again to go by the way that thou camest. So this prophet is reiterating to this old prophet what his instructions were. Verse 18, He said unto him, I am a prophet also as thou art. And an angel spake unto me by the word of Yah, saying, Bring him back with thee into thine house, that he may eat bread and drink water. But he lied unto him. Verse 19. So he went back with him and did eat bread in his house and drank water. Verse 20. And it came to pass, as they sat at the table, that a word of Yah came unto the prophet that brought him back. Verse 21. Verse 21. And he cried unto the man of God that came from Judah, saying, Thus saith Yah, for as much as thou hast disobeyed the mouth of the Lord, and hast not kept the commandment which the Lord thy God commanded thee. Verse 22, but camest back, and hast eaten bread, and drunk water in the place, of the which the Lord did say to thee, Eat no bread, and drink no water. Thy carcass shall not come unto the sepulchre of thy fathers. Verse 23, And it came to pass, after he had eaten bread, and after he had drunk, that he saddled for him the ass, to wit, for the prophet whom he had brought back. And when he was gone, a lion met him by the way, and slew him, and his carcass was cast, was cast in the way, and the ass stood by it. The lion also stood by the carcass. Verse 25, And behold, men passed by, and saw the carcass cast in the way and the lion standing by the carcass. And they came and told it in the city where the old prophet dwelt. And when the prophet that brought him back from the way heard thereof, he said, It is the man of Yah who was disobedient unto the word of Yah. Therefore Yah hath delivered him into the lion, unto the lion, which hath torn him and slain him according to the word of Yah, which he spake unto him. Verse 27. And he spake to his son, saying, Saddle me the ass. And they saddled him. And he went and found the carcass cast in the way, and the ass and the lion standing by the carcass. The lion had not eaten the carcass, nor torn the ass. And the prophet took up the carcass of the man of Yah, and laid it upon the ass, and brought it back. And the old prophet came to the city to mourn and to bury him. Verse 30. And he laid his carcass in his own grave. And they mourned over him, saying, Alas, my brother. Verse 31. And it came to pass, after he had buried him, that he spake to his son, saying, When I am dead, then bury me in the sepulchre, wherein the man of God is buried. Lay my bones beside his bones. 
For the saying which he cried by the word of Yah against the altar in Bethel and against all the houses of the high places which are in the cities of Samaria shall surely come to pass. After this thing, Jeroboam returned not from his evil way, but made a gain of the lowest of the people, priest of the high places. Whosoever would, whosoever would, he consecrated him. And he became one of the priests of the high places. And this thing became a sin unto the house of Jeroboam, even to cut it off and to destroy it from off the face of the earth. Now, this whole story is very important. Here you have a prophet who was given specific instruction <clears throat> by the Most High. You're to go to this city, Bethel. You're to proclaim what is going to happen to these high places. And what is going to happen to Jeroboam? You're not to drink water or eat bread in this place. You're to go give that instruction and leave. And you're, the way you go in, you're supposed to leave out by another route. And then you have someone who says he's a prophet comes and tells him something otherwise. Hey, I'm a prophet also. Uh, an angel told me to come tell you to do this and to do that. Do understand that once we're given instruction by the Most High, no one trumps that. That's why he is the Most High. So we have to be very careful in the things that we're doing when the Most High give us a dietary law and then someone comes and tells you that you can eat whatever it is you want to eat. Okay, the Most High give us instruction that he is one. Someone comes and tells you he's three. The Most High gives us instruction stating clearly that no one dies for our sins then all of a sudden someone is dying for our sins. So what we need to do is to hearken unto the instructions of the Most High because his counsel shall stand, none other. Okay, so let this very chapter be a lesson to you once you are given specific commandment that no one trumps the word of the Most High. That is disobedience. Okay, so we are to go into this law, comb through it carefully, and understand that once we are given instruction, the Most High does not change. His laws are perpetual. Okay, so it does not change. So whatever laws we were given aforetime, it's the same laws that will exist forever. Okay, so let's not be fooled by the New Testament and these individuals who are not prophets. The last of the prophets of the Most High was Malachi. There are no prophets after him. The house of Israel was stripped of our prophets and we were stripped of our leaders. Okay? So the Most High only reveals his secrets to his prophets first. Mark, Luke, John, and these other guys, Peter and whoever else. It should concern you that these are the names of Europeans. Okay? These are not prophets. No way, no how. So you need to pay attention to exactly what you're being told and you ought to lean on the words, on the counsel and the commandments, the precepts and the statutes of the Most High and none other. Peace, Israel.